Good morning. Today we're going to take a look at the Swiss Tech 16 in one multi tool. So it comes in this bare black box, and there's really nothing here other than the sticker. And it says here that it's the 16 in one multi tool. So again, it's made by Hangzhou Great Star Industrial. So it owns the Swiss Tech brand, the Work Pro brand, and possibly other brands that are used to label these generic tools. Let's open it. So it has this thank you card. A small instruction manual. So it lists down all the tools in this tool. And some basic instructions. It comes with a pouch and it looks like the Leatherman Waves pouch. Elastic here and here, button snap here, belt loop here, thin but workable. It's reasonably thick and pliable. Let's open it. So we have the tool, So it's spring-loaded, which is good, and the handles are actually well-designed. So it has this flaring-up shape, and then there's a good opening here, which prevents your palms from being pinched. And the grip itself feels good. So that's definitely one point for this tool. So if this looks familiar, it's because it does. It's actually a copy of the Gerber Suspension NXT. And I guess Swiss Tech has decided to copy it as well. So let's see how they did. So this is the plier head. Not very precise there. There's a gap. But there's little to no play, so that's good. And then you have the long nose here, the regular pliers here with a bolt gripper. And then you have something that's not in the suspension NXT, which are replaceable wire cutters. So both the soft wire cutter and the hard wire cutter here. And then you have torque screws for replacing them. So there's no crimper. And then the handle itself is folded steel sheet. And then there's this overlay here, which differentiates it further from the suspension NXT. Feels good, actually. And I'm not very partial towards spring-loaded pliers, but I think it can be useful and definitely good if it's your preference. Let's take a look at the tools. So all of the tools here are accessible from the outside. And the first thing we have here is the knife. So this is a combo edge. Plain edge here and serrated edge here. 
it's not very sharp but I guess you can sharpen this part easily I'm just not sure about this part so you need some sort of rounded ceramic rod or something so the blades are locking and you do that by pulling this tab here on both sides so you pull this and then you can close the tool so next we have a combo can opener bottle opener and then we have a driver here a flathead here this is similar to the swiss army knife can opener and from my experience it works really well and then we have a bottle opener here unlock and then next is it's a little bit hard to access a bigger flat head with a wire stripper again it's not sharp you probably have to sharpen it and then we have here a pair of scissors these are very small maybe less than an inch and it's spring loaded also it uses this spring I think it will do for small jobs definitely for snipping that's it for this side on the other side we have so we have a depth gauge here in inches and centimeters and then on the other side we have a cross cut file I guess it's reasonably aggressive not very but reasonably and then we have a driver here a flathead here and then there's something else here we have a lanyard loop so that's another way of carrying this via the lanyard or you can use the pocket clip it does have a pocket clip this one and then you can use the lanyard for quickly pulling it out and it's locking also and then going back to the tool we have uh, an awl I suppose or a small blade it's a ship's foot sort of and I guess you can use it as an awl strange what happened there there you go and finally we have a Phillips head screwdriver and it's quite robust so the shaft is really thick and I suppose it should be possible to use an adapter here so that you can use other bits just a few tools I guess that's understandable because uh, the Gerber suspension NXT is actually a budget tool and here we have a budget tool that is a copy of a budget tool and that's it for my unboxing and overview of the Swiss Tech 16 in 1 multi tool so the design is actually good which is a credit to the design of the suspension NXT there's just a few tools but it should be sufficient for most requirements the question I have though is that at 20 25 dollars this is just half the price of a Gerber suspension NXT which usually goes for 50 dollars 
it's just a little bit more and then you have the Gerber suspension NXT which does come with a limited lifetime warranty and like this one which has possibly no warranty and even if there is a warranty I'm not sure how you can claim that I don't know would you buy this do let me know in the comments thank you for watching